And we're back with the New Music Alliance Radio Hour. And I'm Mark Sherry here with Violet House Thor and Mistress Miriam. And you're listening to our special um, show called Pairings. This is pairing number 19. And we're playing songs that are by national artists, well-known national artists that have a similar feel to a song that we're playing by a local artist. And we're assuming and hoping that you're going to love both of those songs. We just heard Radio Edit by Cheap City, and before that, Touch Tone Telephone by Lemon Demon. And the first pairing we had was Ivory and Blue by Passing Strange, and that was paired with Runs in the Family by Amanda Palmer. And uh, why don't we start out with uh, Runs in the Family? Now, be- before we even talk about this musically because I do think it was paired well musically runs mm-hmm. in the family could be a song about diarrhea oh my god sad this is the sad story of a Thanksgiving dinner gone bad <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a good pairing yeah we've got Amanda Palmer of course originally from eastern Massachusetts went to Wesleyan now she's off in New Zealand I believe singer writer pianist activist and occasional blogger who does all sorts of complex stuff with both her stage performance, her online presence, and her musicality. Uh, she was half of the punk cabaret duo The Dresden Dolls. She was a member of the duo Evelyn Evelyn. She is very well known in the scene and runs in the family also happens to be my favorite Amanda Palmer song. You know, I just, I really like that one. And I ended up pairing them with Passing Strange. And these guys are from sort of Southern Connecticut, New Haven area. And I was very torn on how who I wanted to pair Passing Strange with. Because when I heard this song, I was like, okay, I really want them on this show, but I'm not sure exactly where I want to fit them in. And it was, at the end of the day, it was between Amanda Palmer and Fiona Apple, because this could also be a really good yeah. B-side off of like Fetch the Bolt Cutters or something. And that's a really good album, so. <laughs> I could see that. I love this pairing. They fit, no, they they really do fit together well. It, it is an excellent pairing. It really is. And I've I've always loved Amanda Palmer, when, especially when she was in the Dresden Dolls. Yeah, and the Passing Strange song is really beautiful. I think it really builds up very nicely from this solo piano to this full arrangement with the drums and the other instruments getting involved. It's very dark, very gloomy in the right way. And this is the the uh, first track off of their 2021 album Afterthought that I really really got inspired by. They have a lot of different influences, and it's really exciting to hear Passing Strange sort of take this jazz, indie rock, dark cabaret thing and run with it into its own direction. I I love this kind of genre. You know what you're saying, all the the dark cabaret, the indie, like that's what that sound is. It's it's super cool. It appeals to my aesthetic. Our last pairing, we started out with... um, Lemon Demon doing touch tone telephone. That's a pretty cool tune. <laughs> oh really. uh, yeah, it's it's an absolutely wonderful tune. It gets stuck in my head basically constantly. I had it stuck in my head all week. Uh, well, Lemon Demon is the solo project of Neil Cicerega out from Boston, Massachusetts. Now, Neil Cicerega is a name that if you know anything about internet culture and meme culture, you've heard before. He's made a truly staggering amount of viral content uh, over the last two decades, you've got the Potter Puppet Pal series. You've got the Ultimate Showdown of Ultimate Destiny. You've got Brody Quest. You've got the Mouth Quadrility of Mashup albums. Mouth Sounds, Mouth Silence, Mouth Moods, and Mouth Dreams. They are all very good mashup albums. But uh, his album Spirit Phone was from 2016, and it was a hugely, hugely successful album, which was number one best-selling album on Bandcamp for the first week of its release. Just period. Mm-hmm. And Touchtone Telephone in particular has over 40 million listens on Spotify alone. He's kind of a legend if you spend any amount of time online. That's an amazing amount of listens. <laughs> yeah, he's he's a serious name. And again, the song is really good. But the instant I heard this song by Cheap City, and it's a very new release. This is this just came out like this week. It's fantastic. I knew I had to pair them with Touchtone Telephone. It's and perfect. And they're from Holyoke, my hometown. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, they are. They're a really unique and very interesting band, Cheap City. They have a well-written but almost kind of incomprehensible lore about the band, uh, Cheap City, being a fictional band from the Cheap City. 
They seek to present a musical interpretation of this cheap city at large. They have a bunch of concept albums about various characters in the city, including their first album, which was about the rise of the Fructose Four, a band, a gang known for holding up local candy stores. <laughs> it's it's really wild stuff. <laughs> they are they are a wild Wait, wild. Band. I think I was in that gang. <laughs> <laughs> Very wild album to look into because the lore in there goes deep. The lore goes deep there, and I'm really impressed by how committed they are to the bit. But this is their most recent single, and I immediately was like, yes, this is amazing. This is exactly what I want to hear. The different vocal styles in it, the fun little synths things. It's just, it's cool. This is a cool little song, Radio Edit. Well, thanks for visiting with us. We hope you enjoyed some great original music from West New England artists. I'm Violet Housethor here this week with Mark Sherry and Mistress Miriam. Thank you both. Thank you. My pleasure. The New Music Alliance Radio Hour is brought to you by the New Music Alliance, a 501c3 nonprofit whose mission is to assist and advance the careers of talented creative local musicians who write original music and to promote the extended West New England area as a destination for original music writing, production, and performances. If you like what we're doing here on the show, tell your friends about it and like the New Music Alliance and the Radio Hour on our Facebook pages. And don't forget to check out our website, newmusicalliance.org, where you'll find the extraordinary Essential West New England Songbook, a listable anthology and many of the best songs ever written by artists from West New England. And while you're there, if you support the New Music Alliance's mission, we'd appreciate your making a donation or becoming a member or a sponsor. If you're a local West New England musician who'd like to have your original music considered to be on our show, send links to your songs to newmusicalliance at gmail.com. Join us next week for more great tunes from West New England artists. And as always, until next week, please stay safe and keep on rocking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have Charles and Colleague Neville take us out today with African Eyes. <laughs>